Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're looking at a Google Sheets template for a self-checking translation quiz. I have always wanted to improve my proficiency in other languages. Back in high school, many, many years ago, I took four years of French. I can still say I have a red pencil, j'ai un crayon rouge, uh, but not a whole lot more. Thankfully, Google has a lot of great translation tools that can help you when learning a new language, from the Google Translate website, to the Google Translate extension, to the Google Translate mobile app, and on and on. However, I was wanting to find a tool that could be used as a self-checking translation quiz when practicing a different language. I ended up creating this tool with Google Sheets. This sheet allows you to test yourself on translating words or sentences into a different language and even gives you hints if you need some help. This could be helpful for an English language learner to enter words in their language and then practice translating into English, or for an English speaking student to test themselves on a language they are learning in school, or for anyone to practice any other language. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can get your own free copy of this self-checking translation quiz template, as well as how to use it, and also a little background information on how it works. First, to get your own copy of the template, go to bit.ly slash Kurtz dash translate quiz. Once you have your copy of the Google Sheet, you can use it yourself or make it available to your students. For example, if you use Google Classroom, you could push a copy out to all of your students. Now that you have a copy of the template, let's take a look at how to use it to practice a different language. The first tab is the Directions tab with a short list of instructions. The second tab is the Quiz tab where you'll actually practice your translations. On the Quiz tab, the first thing you will do is choose your source language and the language you are translating into. From the drop-down menu in the top left-hand corner, choose the language for your source text. Then from the next drop-down menu, choose the language that you want to translate your text into. For example, if English was your primary language and you were trying to learn French, you could choose English for the source language and then choose French for the translated language, or the other way around if you want. Next, you will want to enter the original text that you want to practice translating. In the column titled original, type in the words or sentences that you want to start with. These could be words from your own language that you want to practice translating into a language that you're learning, or it could be words from the language you're learning that you want to test yourself on translating back into your own language. There is room in the template for 20 lines of text at a time. For this example, I'm going to enter the original text in English and say that we want to practice translating it into French. Now that the original words are entered, you will want to try to quiz yourself on translating them into the other language that you chose. To do this, simply type in what you think the translation should be in the Translations column. If you type in the correct translation, the box will turn green. If you do not type in the correct translation, the box will turn red. You can retype the translation until you get it correct and the box turns green. The translation does need to match perfectly, including capitalization. For example, let's switch over to German for a moment. In German, all nouns are capitalized. So to translate, I am a man, I would not be able to write, Ich bin ein Mann with a lowercase m, but instead I would need to use a capital. M for it to be marked correct. If you need to enter accented characters, unfortunately Google Sheets does not have the special characters menu option like Google Docs does. Instead, you'll need to use another option to copy and paste in accented characters. For example, you may want to use the Chrome web extension called Special Characters, click and paste. When you go up to your extensions bar, and click on the extension, you can simply click on the accented character you need and then paste it into the cell. In addition to telling you if you got the translation right 
or wrong, this template can also give you hints if you get stuck. The columns on the right side of the sheet have checkboxes that you could select to reveal a series of hints to help you if you get stuck. You can check the box for number of words to see how many words there are in the translation. For example, in English, that's life is just two words. But in French, it's c'est la vie, which is three words. That may be the hint that you need. In the same way, you can select the box for number of letters to see how many characters are in the translation. This does not include spaces, but it does include punctuation. For example, I love you in English becomes je t'aime in French, which is nine characters long, including the apostrophe and the period. For more hints, you can also check the boxes for first letter, second letter, third letter, and last letter. Sometimes just reminding yourself how a translation starts or ends may be enough to get you going. Even after all the hints, if you're still stuck, you can click on the box in the answer column to see what the translation should be. When you're all done, you can simply uncheck any of the boxes that you've checked and delete the text from the original and translation columns to begin again with new words to quiz yourself on. For those interested in a little behind the scenes details on how the spreadsheet actually works, let's go through a couple of quick points. This will not be a thorough explanation of how to build this sheet from scratch, but rather just a few tips and tricks I use to set this up. If you have specific questions about how the sheet was made beyond that, feel free to reach out to me or visit my detailed blog post at bit.ly slash Kurtz translate quiz. First, there are two hidden tabs in the sheet. You can see these by clicking on view and then hidden sheets and then show key and show languages. The key tab is where the translations are actually being done in the background so the sheet can tell if you've typed in the correct text. This is done using the Google Translate function to do the translating and the VLOOKUP function to grab the correct language codes from what you've chosen. The Languages tab simply has a list of all the available languages and their corresponding language codes. To reveal the hints, I used an IF formula to see if the checkbox is selected, and then I combined that with other formulas including COUNT A, LENGTH, LEFT, MID, and RIGHT to determine the hint to show you. And to color in the translation green for correct and red for incorrect, I use conditional formatting. You can see the setup by selecting one of the translation cells and then clicking Format and Conditional Formatting. To see if the word you typed in is correct or not, I use the exact function, which is necessary to make it match uppercase and lowercase letters and not just the content of the text. And that's it. Hopefully this self-checking quiz template will be a helpful way for you and your students to practice translating words and sentences from one language to another. Although having a red pencil is nice, having a digital tool like this can provide feedback and hints to help you say that and many more things in another language. And be sure to visit my website at controlaltachieve.com to access all of my educational technology resources, posts, projects, help guides, templates, and more. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all of my videos and follow me on social media for all of the resources I share there. Thanks so much and take care.